Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week we are talking about gown cleaning and preservation. Before we dive into this topic, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to create a video on or anything that you wanna learn about. I am here for you, guiding you along the way, leading up until your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. I wear many different hats at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. Be sure to connect with us, follow us on Instagram, at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. This week's video is inspired by a subscriber, and also she happens to be a Lavella Bride that just tied the knot. She left me a comment, Adriana, saying, Hi Nairi, my wedding finally happened, so now the question is whether or not to preserve the dress. How long can I wait before looking into it? Any tips? Thank you. I have done an amazing podcast where I interviewed Sasha from Albert's Cleaners located in Santa Barbara, California. I'm going to link that podcast below, but I'm also going to give you everything that you need to know in this video. If you want more in-depth information than what I provide you today, go ahead and tune into that podcast episode. It's gonna be linked below. When it comes to preserving your bridal gown, it is an absolute no-brainer to preserve it. And I'm going to break all of that down for you. First things first, you wanna get it to the cleaners as quickly as possible. And so many brides procrastinate on this. You forget about it. You leave the dress in the back of the closet and you completely forget about this step after you've had your wedding. And that's totally natural. You're moving on with your life. You're celebrating. You're likely headed off to your honeymoon or working, setting up your new home, whatever it is that you are doing. Preserving and cleaning your gown is typically not a priority. However, I hope that after this video, you find it a priority and you run to the cleaners as quickly as you can. The first step is going to be finding a cleaner that knows how to properly take care of your bridal gown. At the end of the day, your bridal gown is an heirloom piece that you may want to hold on to for generations or maybe even sell it. So the sooner you get it to the cleaner, the better. There are what is called invisible stains in gowns. So this could be from hand lotion, oil, soda, champagne, something that spilled on it that you may not know. You want to pick a cleaner that has the knowledge to look for these stains and it may not be visible to the eye. However, it turns brown and darkens over time. I am going to link for you below wedding gown specialist Dot com where you can go and find a dry cleaner near you that is trusted and verified for wedding dresses specifically. So finding the proper dry cleaner is the first step that knows what they're doing, knows to look for stains and all of that. The second step is going to be taking it to the cleaner as quickly as you possibly can because these stains can set in and you don't want that to happen. The third thing that you want to be really mindful of, which I learned from Sasha during my podcast interview, I learned from her that many of the care tags and the instruction tags that are in the wedding dresses are not always the most accurate on how the gown should be handled. Professional cleaners that work with wedding dresses all the time know fabrics and know how to test fabrics and not take every single thing that the care tag says literally. That being said, making sure that the individual that you're going to is an expert in what they do and how they do it is really, really, really important. There is a lot of margin for error when it comes to cleaning wedding dresses, and this is not to scare you at all or create anxiety, but more so to educate you to go to a trusted source that knows what they're doing and has worked with the manufacturer's fabrics. Another thing to consider here is that many care tags and instructions and labels get cut out of wedding dresses because they show through the dress on wedding day. I highly recommend when your gown arrives in store and you're going through the alteration process, I encourage you to cut out the tag at that time prior to the seamstress working on your dress, 
take that tag home with you and keep it because many dry cleaners receive these dresses without the care tags on. Yes, sometimes they are inaccurate. However, that still gives them some level of direction to follow. Moving on to preservation. Preservation is a completely different process than cleaning. Most brides want to clean the, the dress and stop there and save money and not invest into the preservation process. Keep in mind that these are two separate components. Cleaning is just cleaning the gown. Preservation is taking the gown and essentially what they do is they fold it really beautifully and put it in a keepsake box where typically most places have a opening where you can view the front of your gown through a plastic transparent window. The preservation process is an important component because if you think of gravity and what gravity does to our skin, also I learned this from Sasha, but it's a beautiful concept and she words it beautifully, I am quoting her here. If you think about the way in which gravity affects our skin and just things in general. The same thing applies to your wedding dress. Once you get it cleaned and you just have it hanging, well over time gravity is going to do its thing and beading and stones and things of that sort can tarnish over time. Putting it in the preservation box helps one for it to not be hanging and gravity allowing to do its thing and Two, they also put it in an acid-free tissue which prevents the gown from discoloring over time. We recently unboxed Courtney Lopez's wedding dress when I was on Access Hollywood to surprise Mario. That dress had been in the box for years and she not only had it dry cleaned, but also had it preserved. And also on the podcast interview, you'll learn the difference between dry cleaning and just hand cleaning or cleaning and some dresses require dry cleaning and others don't. It's absolutely fascinating and I encourage you to go listen to it because Sasha as an expert in this field words everything beautifully if you want to nerd out on it or learn more about it. Great resource. Again, I will link that for you below. We pulled Courtney's dress out of the preservation box and it looked brand new years later. So it does work and I was nervous. I wasn't sure when we unboxed it what we were going to find and what condition the dress was going to be in. But it was cleaned and preserved and I highly encourage you to do the same. For brides who want to have their gowns cleaned prior to wearing, perhaps you've bought a sample and you want to have it fully cleaned before you do alterations and before you wear it. I typically don't recommend it. A lot of things can go wrong in dry cleaning or cleaning in general. Not to say that it will, but it's a potential outcome. I highly recommend if there are certain stains that you want to get out, perhaps you take it to a professional cleaner who knows what they're doing and they're able to just spot treat it. The reason why I say this is oftentimes when these garments are cleaned, the fabrics have a tendency, depending on the type of fabric, they have a tendency to lose their crispiness, their charm, their original state. So I don't ever encourage having things cleaned prior to wearing it. I always recommend after you've worn it. Also, depending on the gown, depending on the fabric and the circumstance, definitely consult with a professional who can better guide you and lead you into the right direction on this topic. Moral of the story is that you definitely, definitely want to get your dress cleaned as quickly as possible. I encourage you to identify the cleaner in which you're going to take it to prior to your wedding and have a game plan as to who's taking it and who's going to drop it off. One last thing that I want to point out that Sasha mentioned in our podcast interview that I had done with her is that a good cleaner that knows what they're doing, they're not just going to take the dress and it's a two minute dialogue and exchange and you leave. She was explaining how when you go to Ablett's, they actually spend about 20 to 25 minutes with you understanding where you wore it. Were you in grass? Were you on stone, concrete, whatever, a vineyard, dirt? wherever your gown was so they can understand the types of stains physical that you can see and also potential invisible stains that they need to find to make sure that they take care of so that your gown can remain an heirloom piece and be in the best condition possible for years and generations to come. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos like this, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will see you in next week's video.